Hey guys, it is Tommy, and for today's Tommy Log Tech, I want to take kind of a little dive into the differences between the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition and the Galaxy Note 3. Both were provided by Verizon. My opinions are my own. Okay, as you can see, the size of the devices are significantly different where the Galaxy Note 3 has a 5.7 inch screen and the Galaxy Note 10.1 has a 10.1 inch screen. This screen is just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. 1600 by 2560, where this one is 1080 by 1920. So this is totally true 1080p. This is a lot bigger than that. This has like a super uh, AMOLED screen and this is a what they call super clear LCD. Not sure what that is. That's probably marketing speak, but gorgeous. Both gorgeous screens. Um, big difference is this has a 13 megapixel camera and the Galaxy Note 10.1 only has an 8 megapixel camera. Some people can tell the difference. You know what? You have to be really sharp to notice the difference. They both have flashes on the back, so they both come with flashes. That's pretty awesome. The Galaxy Note 3 will actually take 4K video. For those video buffs who are really just jones into take video as huge as possible, bam, this is it. This takes 1080p video, so don't get me wrong, this is pretty awesome. 4K video, okay. Of course the weight is a big difference. You know, we've got about 170 grams here, and this big bad boy is almost 550 grams. So huge difference. I use grams so the people in Canada didn't feel left out. The battery in the Galaxy Note 3 is significantly smaller, obviously, because it's a smaller device. Something interesting that Samsung did is they made the battery in the Galaxy Note 3 replaceable. You can take the back off and pull the battery out. You cannot take the back off this. I tried a little bit, then I Googled it and said, no, it's not, it's not coming off. So this is a non-replaceable, non-user replaceable battery. But this certainly has lasted eight, nine, ten hours of my use. Your, your mileage may vary, but I've had no problem getting that amount of time on it. Eight, nine, ten hours on this one is a little bit of a struggle. It's kind of different because you're on the phone, you're using it more often, where this, where the, the 10.1, you're sitting down for a specific period of time. Maybe you're using it in a meeting to take notes, or you're surfing the, the web while you're on the couch, whatever that happens to be. Okay, so those are kind of the differences. Um, things that's the same, exact same CPU. They both have the same CPU, same graphics, everything about that's the same. They both have expansion ports. This port's internal. This one is right on the side here. So you can expand it with a, uh, uh, an extra little memory card. They both have the same version of uh, Android, 4.4.2. I like 4.42. Car buffs, you'll get that one. Something interesting, oh, they both, you know, both have an S Pen, this little thing. So they can write on the screen, take notes, annotate. Very cool. Uh, don't lose it though. Very expensive. They're like 35, 40 bucks because they're like super smart and that kind of thing. Uh, the thing, I guess you have to decide what is the best for you. Are you going to go small? All relative, though this is pretty big. When you think about, you know, 5.7 screen, this is nothing to shake a stick at. I mean, it, it takes up all of my all of my pocket, and I can't put it in the front part of my pants. Obviously, you're not going to make you're not going to use this for phone calls. This is strictly a uh, sitting on the couch, sitting at the table type of of tool. Depending on the case you get, maybe it, maybe this is the kind of tool that you use for a you know shop data collection, however you want to be. But this screen is gorgeous. They're both gorgeous screens. You're not you know I struggle holding this one up to my ear because it's so big. This, you're definitely not going to use as a phone. Has no, this has no phone capabilities, just, so, just to be clear. This is all tablet, no phone, where this is all phone, tries to be a tablet, okay, goes both, kind of goes both ways. I think the biggest difference that I notice between these, take size out of it, is the fact that they both have the same version of Android, but no user accounts, you can have user accounts on this one. And I really like that. I like the ability to have user accounts. I can give this to Emma. I can give this to Madeline. They can have their own user accounts. That's interesting. Uh, I don't know where that's going, or, or, uh, but there, there, is a di there is a difference there. Um, both 
amazing devices, work very well. So there you have it, both devices are totally Tommy approved. Galaxy Note 3, Galaxy Note 10.1, both Tommy approved. Thanks Verizon, thank you Samsung for letting me play with these. Talk to you guys later, bye.